What's poppin' yo? You already know what it is. Me in the lab, like always. I'm by myself. Man, we got a treadmill just in case we gotta work out. You know what I mean? Got the little defensive player to get trophy over there. You know what I mean? Stay focused. You know, we blogging hip hop game. What's popping? Webmaster, what's good? Worldwide Warriors, what's good, man? You trying to see, man? Trying to figure out why hip hop is, or why New York music is slowly dying. I'm a big fan of all music. I got my preference. I grew up an old head. I grew up liking, I grew up liking oldies. I grew up liking, cause my mom's was a big oldie head. I guess I had a little Michael Jackson in the blood. I grew up listening to a lot of different things. Back in the days, you didn't have as many, you know, the internet outlets. You didn't have a lot of video outlets. So I guess they played the top 40, top 20 music. I was young, so I don't remember. I didn't even know the business like that to even know what top 40 or top 20 was. So um, I heard the kid um, um, Kanye West talk about um, back in the days, people was listening to like Cindy Lauper and Boy George and things like that. Like, I mean, I heard their music because... You, know, you had no, you really had no choice because if it was on a video, and you got a chance to see music with a video, you're gonna look at the video. But I definitely was like, um, then I got accustomed to the, um, I guess the hip hop, I guess uh, you know the old school. Ways to play the videos back in the days. You had to turn the channel like 31 with the little with the pliers and the hangers. You know what I'm saying? Put the hanger on the TV. You know, get the static, and they play all the rap videos up on there. You know what I mean? So then I got accustomed to that. You know what I mean? And. I think that was a good time for hip hop. I forget what year that was, maybe 88. I was only eight years old, something like that. You know what I mean? But um, I'm definitely a big Wu head. I feel Wu Tang, uh, they changed the game. And I don't know where, I don't know who really came out first with that sound, but I think the Wu and the Mall of Deep Sound is kind of similar. You know, it's real hard and gritty. I think Havoc maybe brightened up the sound a little bit. Um, I think Wu Tang is definitely the core. Of that sound, even though I think hip hop started in Queensbridge, some will argue that it started that it started in the BX. I ain't gonna argue nothing like that. You know what I mean? It started where it started. But I'm a big woo woo head. I still listen to Bill for Cuban Links. You know what I'm saying? Still listen to even think differently music right now. That's a new uh, Wu Tang uh, family album that came out. That album's hot. You know the Jizz is on there, Riz is on there. Um, you know, listen to old old meth music. You know what I mean? And we trying to figure it out. Even me as a fan, I mean, I make music. Any artist that make music, um, some listen to other people's music. But for the most part, you know, I don't listen to a lot of other people's music like that. I listen to when producers send me beats or maybe somebody want to send me a hook for the album, you know, or maybe somebody might want to write a song for me. So I listen to, you know, how the song sounded, you know, because this album I'm doing now, I'm actually going to let people probably write for me. So I really want it to be successful. So if I can't make it 100% successful how I want it to be, you know, I'm going uh, you to know, look at other options, you know, so I could be as successful as, as successful, you know, as possible. So I'm not a big guy to listen to other music. I just bought about four or five albums today. Um, I bought um, Love Lockdown, which I wasn't going to really buy it, but, you know, I did support Kanye on his first two albums. So I said, let me hear what son working with right now. You know what I mean? But, I mean, of course, I'm not a big fan. Of the new, uh, of that new type of music from Kanye, from somebody else, you know, maybe yes, but I like when he was doing the Jesus walks and everything. But you know, everybody their own people. But I did buy that. I bought the Common joint. Like I never really listened to a lot of Common either. You know what I mean? But I wanted to hear because I know Son's on the positive rap. You know, I was a little bit skeptical when I seen him doing the movies with the with the guns and everything, and he still rap positive because I was a little bit skeptical on Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, putting away you know guys like. You know, I guess like Tukey and them guys putting them away, but then doing like all the, the gangster and the guns, um, you know, uh, movies and things like that. I did buy the Common album. I bought um bought the Akon joint. You know, I bought the Britney Spears joint because we got you know friends and you know managers and we kind of know each other. So I supported the Britney Spears joint. You know what I mean? But I'm probably just gonna listen to Womanize a couple times. You know what I mean? That's, that joint is high, but I probably won't listen to the whole album. You know what I mean? But I just bought a couple CDs. I bought today. Anyway, I was asking myself when I was in um, when I was in Targets with my wife. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, why is hip hop, you know, not over here on this shelf? And you see all this all this other music. 
you know, and it's more of the worldwide music as far as like the, the Akons, the, the Lil Wayne's. I ain't see a lot of hardcore hip hop. I ain't seen no Jay the Kiss. So I ain't seen no, I ain't seen no Scarface. I don't even know if some album came out, but if it came out or if it didn't come out, I'm gonna get it because I'm a real big fan of Scarface. I like how he really kept the street. He stayed loyal. He could have crossed over. He wanted to. Everybody loves him. White audience, black audience love him. He could have been crossed over, but he stayed so true. So that's why I'm always gonna buy all his music when it comes out. But I'm like, look what I just did. I just bought. Four or five albums that wasn't hip hop. You know what I mean? So it's two. There's a couple issues I have with that. One of the issues is you get a lot of people who's rapping, and you know what I mean? They're, they're just like, want to be like gangsters, but then you had people who really did it, such as Pac, not necessarily a gangster, but he did preach. He did live what he preached, and Biggie. You know, Biggie being from her, even even 50, you know, guys at one time lived, you know, what they preached. But you got so many people wanting to be like like Jigga or want to be like or want to be like uh, 50 or want to be just like somebody else. And they rapping like it. Some people are successful, but then some people find their own own lane. You look at a guy, a guy like Nelly found his own lane. I don't really think he mimicked anybody. He did have a style. It was a worldwide style to me, um, uh, but you know he did. He, he found his own lane. You know what I mean? I, but I see too many artists now wanting to be like other people, so it's hard for me to to relate to all type of music. I guess um, that's why when um, you had like um, I when I first heard the Lil Wayne joint, or my, my my first album I heard Lil Wayne was the Carter Two. I'm like, wow, this guy's amazing because. He was not only doing three verses and hooks, he was doing four verse songs. Like, nobody does four verses and then the last verse be like 20, 24 bars. Like, as an artist, as a person who loves hip hop and a person who loves lyrics, like, that was amazing to me. So then I bought all the droughts and all the old Carters and all that other music. I'm like, yo, this dude was kind of nice. You know what I mean? And um, so I was like, wow, I'm, gonna be, I'm, I'm part of this movement. I want to be a part of this movement. So he came out with the Carter Three. It was crazy. But then some, and then what we do is we get like so accustomed to artists, and then once they change on us, you'd be like, "Yo, how the dude gonna do us like that? You know, how the dude gonna change up his whole style, whole swag?" And then that's when you get all the bloggers like, "Yo, yo, I can't mess with son, son changing, you know, no homo this, pause that, you know what I mean?" So um, so that's been that's been real difficult, you know, as a fan of hip hop, you know, um, I'm definitely a fan of uh, not only New York music, I'm a fan of um. You know, trying to, trying to change, trying to change the game, man. So I need to start supporting hip hop too, man. I need to start buying like, you know, real music. Like, you know, you got Ortiz out there from Brooklyn, Joe Ortiz. You know what I mean? He popping. Need to go get that. You know what I mean? Um, need to need, need to need to search him on the internet and, and, and buy the iTunes and and, and vote and play a song on the radio. Call Hot 97 from Houston. You know what I mean? I think we need more fans doing that. And it's going to be hard because the game is monopolized, man. You know what I mean? It's going to be hard for you to break in. It's going to be real hard for for any artist like that because there's been so much fake music going out there. And not even, like, a lot of people had issues with the South music. You know, like, I guess Laffy Taffy and, and uh, but, you know, that South sound, you know, and uh, even the Soldier Boy drink. A lot of people had issues with that. But I think, you know, um, I never had a big issue with that. I was a little um, frustrated that it was getting more play than than a lot of hip hop music that people never really got a chance to hear. But it is a business, and when you got these labels working, I mean, it's like you got Jordan. You got Jordan. He can in games, win championships. You got people when their minds is totally focused on this music, on the business part, and they like the Jordans of the game. So unless you get unless you get on his team, you know, like. I'll be Tony Cool Coach and play on um, Jordan's team, which is like Eminem. I'll be Tony Cool Coach, you know what I mean? I'll be in the back to shoot the threes, you know? And I'm going to be popping. I'm going to get my rings. I'm going to go platinum, you know what I mean? But unless you get with a team like that, you know, it's going to be hard for those artists to be heard. So the other issue is why would people want to keep hearing, even me as a fan, why would I want to keep hearing fake lyrics, fake stories, fake um, tales, you know? Why can't people just tell their story? hip-hop and we, we looking for artists like that man 
I think when Eminem first came out his album, it was high. I was, it was relatable to a lot of people. You know, I think he, you know, uh, crossed over or reached a lot of people, whatever you want to call it. And there's a lot of other artists like that. Then you get people who want to be just like that. They want to follow exactly what he did or follow exactly what other artists did, you know, instead of instead of being themselves. And I'm waiting for that. I, I just can't wait to the day when that artist comes that I'm looking for and that a lot of other hip-hop fans is looking for, man. Look it up. So we over here in the lab. The blogging hip-hop game was cracking, you know. You already know what it is. We over here. I'll do a couple songs. Um, like I told y'all last time, I got the song working on with my daughter. Um, Jordan Tower Films did it. That's gonna be up soon. I'm just zizzing, man. With this kitty, this haterist plague spreading quick, quicker than she mails. Shifting on what I think of them. I'm shivering, quivering, wondering when this hip hop is gonna skip the man version. Boy, spot. This is hip slop. Blame it on the rain or shady leaving the game. Now he back, so bring it back. Leave them worms in the cage. We need Nas to make a hit instead of making a miss. We need Kid to hit plat instead of old school gold bricks. We need Bus on the track with the guard, Rock Kemp, featuring Bum B, Scarface, Snoop Dogg, and them. Now everybody. And they moms want to swagger jack them. Snoop killed the auto tune because he's smooth and natural. Everybody else want to do it too. Trying to match you. Even Payne bringing it back. But it's very damn whack if I can't get a track without pulling out the money from the bag, man. That's super weak. These labels try and get us ball plays like we dumb. So it's time we bring the goons out. Touch a couple of lungs. You already know. I can choose to buy a Bentley or pay Wayne 250 or another 125k for the video because I'm filthy. He worked it. But man, I need another way to work it. I need the streets to trust I won't change like them other persons. We got allies still grinding grated cheese OD with the D. Like a Charlemagne speech. Sometimes he keep it real, one time he cracked my head. Talking ish on the radio, like my music all red, like his blood, like it's dead. Who really killed music? Was it Jigger signed to Kanye? At first he was ghetto, now he changed up the gameplay. And fans is all hating, but you making what you making. If you don't like it, if you don't like what you see, you can buy a million, million Jada Kiss albums in the streets to eat. Like Soldier Boy said, do something, stop talking. Bring back the game, or see it sleeping in the coffin. The Nas kill rap with the Nasha Diamonds track. And the hood really loves him, but he never really comes back. And the Lil Wayne tricked the fans and going rock, even though he's still hot. His swagger them changed up a lot. Does the South really preach anti-New City? But does New York music sound weak and real sleazy? The NY really try to go down South because these labels in Manhattan said rap like Bow Wow. We need more tracks on the hook like Jeezy. We need more ad-libs, do it like Jeezy. What I see is Joe Ortiz, but you fans are not supporting. There's room for the Southwest Coast and up north. Sometimes I need morphine than the, than the game drops off. I hear more dudes from other cities than the dudes I bump often. I'm a Wu-Tang head, so I gotta admit, old guard body mob deep, hard body clips. I trust I can't bring back gutter rap at all. But it's just because it's gutter rap. You cats want to lie on tracks, which is whack. Let Jigga be Jigga, let Big be Big, let Ross be Ross. And you find your own lane, kids. Was it Hot 9-7? Is it New York on the subway? In the South, popping bubbly? Do we need my city cats working the radio, cousin? Because Ebro... Know what NY really likes. First time I met them, I thought I was going to get into a fight. I had a wreck and Miss Jones bring it back. She blessed it. One track with a law, one track with big nature that he didn't like. The other he said was tight. The one he didn't like, he made a joke. It got me tight. DJ Envy said chill. So I threw away the ice grill. I guess it is what it is. But we on the grind still. 
he even enough tried to play me, or maybe he didn't know a real NY nigga unless you throw on some big figures. App so connected, man. He asked me what I rep. Asked me if I was from Brooklyn. I was ready to make him shookin'. Everybody and their moms know where I'm from QB. The real is from the hood. After a couple of real G's, certain things I put up with is the same thing why hip-hop won't change as we raise high. Old school street code without getting caught. Revolution like pollution if you ride for the sport. Make a bang and stop trying. If you ain't banging and you dying. If you ain't selling, stop lying. If you ain't hot, I ain't buying. Look at me, 370 units sold first week. But I need one more chance. So I need to take a look at Biggie, old gritty, from the heart, study music in the dark, tell the clan keep pushing, because we ain't getting no head start. Part two of the reason hip-hop's not popping, coming soon, and right after that, the Worldwide Warriors is dropping. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, you know, speaking, speeching, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get that, get that hip-hop back, man. I ain't saying a lot of music ain't hip hop. It's just different, man. It's definitely a different genre. You know what I mean? And, you know, we need I, I, we need help to get it back, man. And I'm hearing a lot of music, good music out there, but just keep grinding, man. Whoever's out there trying to put out that real music, you got people out there who appreciate it, man. Word up. You know, y'all might hear music from me. It might not be what you want to hear. It's all good. But I'm still looking, man. I'm making my own music how I do over here. And... You do how you do over there. But like I said, man, if you don't like the music, don't listen to it. Go find somebody. Support them. You know, all the hip-hop fans, there's a lot of us out there. You know, once we find something that's real, that we can bump, that we can listen to, that's genuine, you know they ain't lying. Yo, know, if you feel somebody lying, don't buy that, don't buy that album. You don't even support it. Because you keep supporting, you're going to keep feeding the fire, refueling the fire if you keep supporting fake music, you know what I mean, or music you don't like, no, the, you know, radio stations are going to be like, all right, everybody like this, or people like this, or we got, then now we got to play hip-hop, and we got to play, uh, you know, uh, more, uh, less, you know, uh, hood hip-hop, whatever you want to call it. People want to hear street music on the radio, I do, I want to hear what somebody going through and what's going on in the hood and street. Instead of the party music all the time. Party music is cool. But there's a lot of hits. You know what I mean? Even like if you look at Cash, Rose, anything around me, Cream gets the money. That was playing in the club. But it was, you know, it was gutter on some hip-hop gutter. You know what I mean? You wouldn't talk about fatties and all that. It was popping. It was flipping it. You know, meth was flipping it. You know what I mean? We need more, we need more music like that, man. You got to be creative. You got to be able to do it. I think, and one thing I respect about Kanye... He had that song, You Can't Tell Me Nothing. And I heard they ain't even want to use that as a single. You Can't Tell Me Nothing, but I mean, you don't make a song like that. I think it's going to get played at any time in the club. I was in the club like, you can't tell me nothing, man. You know what I mean? That's hip-hop, I guess. You know what I mean? You know, you got to be creative, man. You got to be hot. Like, we looking, we looking. As a fan, I'm looking. Can't wait. You already know what it is, man. I'm going to give a shout-out to my artist, Worldwide Warriors. Me blogging straight from Houston. Shout-out to Mr. QB. Shout out to Mr. Chalice. Shout out to Foul Monday. Shout out to all my Queensbridge artists doing it big. Yo, everybody from Queensbridge got to stand up now. They ain't giving us nothing. You know what I mean? We got to work for it. You know, build that fan base, do it big, keep grinding all my Queensbridge people. They ain't giving us nothing. I already know what it is, man. Just being around the cities, being around, you know, radio a little bit. They ain't giving us nothing. And even our peoples who made it ain't really helping. So all my people on the ground from the hood, keep grinding. You know, I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. You already know what it is. I might have a game in Jersey, New York. I'll stop by four in the morning. You already know how I do. One.